All right, people, welcome back. If you are new to the channel, Total OS Today or TOS Today is total technology for beginners because we all start somewhere. Well, if you are new and wanted to start somewhere in Linux or a Linux-based operating system, you may want to take a look at Linux Lite, uh, the newest version 2.0. I like this a lot. I've been running this inside a virtual box now for about... Oh, maybe 40 minutes, uh, installed it, ran all of the updates, and I have to stress all the updates. Downloaded a couple current popular screen recorder programs, including Kazam, VocoScreen, and I did not have any issues whatsoever in the short time that I tested these two installed programs, unlike uh, Linux Mint 17 Cinnamon. Now, now, before I get to this one here, thank you for all of your comments and suggestions for the Linux Mint 17 Cinnamon I affectionately call the Comedy Edition. Some of you correctly have stated that VirtualBox is not always the ideal, the best ideal environment to test an operating system. That's true. However, Linux Mint 17 Mate, I didn't have any issues. Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Uh, I tested a couple of uh, rolling releases including Netrunner, PC Linux, OS, Mate, no problems. Cinnamon gave me issues, I'm not sure why. I, I'm pretty sure I had all the updates installed, guest editions, there's something about it to me. The Cinnamon edition was and still is a work in progress. It looks cool, but it's just not as polished as Ubuntu, Mate, the Kubuntu editions, XFCE of Linux Mint. But again, that's for my personal Testing my personal preferences right now for me personally would be Ubuntu 14.04 and Linux Mint Mate. But this is Linux Lite 2.0. I was just going through the um, desktop settings here. Of course, the wallpapers that you can change. I went to icons and added a little trash icon here. User-friendly Linux Lite. The developers of Linux Lite uh, tout this as being uh, for beginners and I from what I've seen so far it was and still is this is fast it feels zippy it feels polished runs great in VBox if you wanted to test it no problems whatsoever and I'm running a an outdated but still fully functional dual core machine all right let's go through this here we have the panel of course time and date sound menu with the VLC this should be standard, I believe, this player for both Windows and Linux. And by the way, ignore the very top panel and the very bottom panel. That's part of the VirtualBox environment. Okay. Internet, the two workspaces. Yes, I don't want to go to uh, Firefox uh, keyboard. These are the shortcuts here. Uh, Self-explanatory terminal, the home folder, Firefox, minimize all windows and menu. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Let's go to home folder and again if you're coming from a Windows machine you really shouldn't have any issues navigating through through this and through into this view as icons detail and so on and so forth of course I don't have anything downloaded so mine's gonna be empty it's brand new but and I do like my buttons on the right being right-handed all right go into the menu I believe this is called the whisker menu I like this I like this a lot uh, this, of course, Linux Lite featuring the XFCE desktop environment. Favorites, recently used. This is where I use the vocal screen, Kazam, install, remove software, volume control. That's the all software settings. Accessories, graphics. I think you get the picture here. Uh, let's go to, let's see, let's go. What, what I did here, a, a couple things here. I went to, I just typed in soft. This is where I think it might be uh, confusing for absolute beginners. Not difficult, but it says here, remove additional software, install additional software, or install remove software. For beginners, it might seem that this might be somewhat redundant to have these three separate functions here. You would think, as a beginner, maybe that it would be all under here. If I click install remove software, this will give you the Synaptic Package Manager, a powerful tool for installing, uninstalling software. Uh, this may not be the best for beginners, although it's not difficult to learn. I use it, I like it, I don't have any problems, but for a beginner, maybe not the best solution, but that being said, it's not that difficult. 
let's go back to menu and we're going to type um, soft or just SOF all right we went to install remove software let's go to install additional software now here it appears that the developers of Linux Lite are giving you some maybe some recommendations on what to install listed 1 through uh, 26 and it would be uh, for example number 2 is Chrome web browser uh, Google talk browser plugin I see Netflix this is actually user-friendly in my opinion as far as these here I would probably uh, install chromium um, let's see what else would I Skype maybe Steam if you are a gamer make sure you have a nice hefty machine to run games oh weather weather monitor of course virtual box again this here is self-explanatory and if I want to exit it says here zero so you just type in zero and you exit out how simple is that let's go back to the menu let's see if anything here uh, catches my eye let's go to system go to system information and of course as the name implies this will give you information about your computer and there we go uh, let's see I wanted to take a look at a couple more things here so far as I stated this is running very very nice very smooth very polished so they've really done a very good job with this and yes in my opinion it is definitely designed for beginners with the maybe an older machine low specs this is fine um, let's see memory usage 33 percent I think I allotted 1.5 uh, megabytes of um, yeah megabytes don't I wish this could run a 1.5 megs uh, I think I gave this 1.5 gigabytes of RAM um, in my um, virtual box so you know CPU usage 10 percent this is running fine you know there's some more heavier uh, Linux distros out there there are lighter ones but this seems to strike a fine balance and again running in a virtual box in a dual core this is running quite fine as you can see so what do I think about this it's yeah it's definitely designed for beginners no crashing I as I stated I tested two pieces of software the installation process was fine in, in terms of installing software let's go and do one more then I guess we can wrap this up let's go to install remove software password and let's see um, let's try Banshee a popular media player and there we go you highlight that right click mark for installation it needs some other packages to make this a complete install again it's automatic click mark apply again this is something that I think you probably want to have too much difficulty figuring it out and it will download the required packages for Banshee Media Player so let's go ahead and let it download this and let's give it a try and see if it will load and start Banshee okay applying changes Now I have a click to automatically close after the changes have been successfully applied. So this is almost done. Now of course, while it's doing this, you can, you know, continue to do what you were doing if you want to. But I will let this finish and let's see if Banshee will launch. Banshee will play both um, audio and video files, by the way and you can search podcasts on it and stuff like that it's 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 actually a nice media player um, I don't know if it's available for Windows but most um, most certainly for most Linux distributions you should be able to uh, install Banshee alright it's almost done I will wait till it's done and let's launch it and see if it'll launch maybe you found the bug maybe not I don't know almost done and
and these are the two workspaces here so if you need to continue doing what you're doing you just go to workspace number two and of course do what you have to do we'll go back to this all right it appears that Banshee has been installed so I will just click X and of course I know Banshee is a multimedia piece of software I can go either to multimedia software or I could have just typed BAN and it would bring it up okay enter and there we go Banshee media player of course Linux being customizable you can change the colors and how this looks and the you know the list goes on and on but so far I definitely like what I see I like speed and stable the two S's that's my favorite in all operating systems by the way so Linux slide 2.0 yeah, if you are new, definitely light one up. Uh, this is terrific, user-friendly, fast, zippy, stable so far. Definitely giving this a recommendation. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please don't forget to subscribe and donate to the channel. It's greatly appreciated to maintain this channel for all of you beginners out there coming to the wonderful world of Linux. Thank you so much, and I will catch all of you sometime in the future.